Welcome to Julianne and Kyla, Traveling Teachers. I'm Julianne. And I'm Kyla. And today we're going to be giving you guys a realistic breakdown of what we spend and how much we can save here living in Korea. Yep, so like, comment, and subscribe below. Thank you! you guys to take in consideration that we are living in Korea right now during COVID and our budgets and stuff will definitely change over the next two weeks when we can't do anything yeah. but um this is going to just kind of be our experiences budgeting and saving in Korea and how much we spend right now during COVID yeah because we got here in November so we've mm -hmm. only been in Korea during COVID yes so we actually got a comment from one of our subscribers she would like to know um how much we save each month our monthly expenses, how we send money home, and how much we spend grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. And before we wanted to make this video, we've been talking a lot mm -hmm. between ourselves just about like budgeting and like saving money here because mm -hmm. it's just not, if we're being honest, what we expected. Yes. And I mean, we'll get into it more, but it does come down to the lifestyle that you want to live mm -hmm. in Korea and what you do and how you budget your money and how much you want to see and experience here. Yeah, I think that we can obviously give you guys like what we've been spending stuff like that, but this completely goes is going to be different for each mm. person. I mean, it's even different between both of us. Like, let's say you're making two point three million won, um, which I feel like is a pretty average salary. Um, it might be lower if you don't have experience, um, or it could be higher than yes if you do have experience. So you're gonna get taxes taken out, which if you are from the US, I don't know about other countries, you can like get that money back when you leave, so you can get that money back. But um, you're also gonna get like your health insurance out. So you're gonna be making about 2.1 million won, which I would say is around like 2,000 US dollars. So your budget is 2,000 US dollars, let's say, per month. You have to think about your bills. Our bills are both different. My apartment is slightly bigger, so I do pay more. I pay like 140 a month in bills. And yours and are the, like mine's like a hundred. And this winter though, for both of us, are both way higher. Yeah, like, way higher more for towards like two hundred. The heat, yeah. Um, and but we have our friend Rachel that you guys have seen. She lives in an older apartment in the middle of Seoul, and hers are more like seventy dollars. So we're in a newer. I think this building's mm -hmm. maybe even like four years old. Like this is yeah, a brand new building. New. So it's going to depend. So you're gonna take those bills out. Then you need to think about your phone mm -hmm. plan. You wanna think about is your Wi-Fi included, stuff like that. Um, that brings mm -hmm. it down like I yeah. said, 100, 200 more. Yeah, like another 100, I would get, because I think my bill is like 44,000 won for my phone. And that's with me having a phone paid and just paying mm -hmm. for the phone plan. So it depends if you buy your phone here obviously and then i think my wi-fi is like eighteen thousand a month mm. so you need to factor in that stuff and then groceries yeah we don't know how to cook so yeah groceries? groceries don't really cost a lot guys i literally eat pasta and chicken and rice i <laughs> eat literally rice uh and egg kimchi. Or two and kimchi and kim yeah. Every, I swear to God, every, every single, single night for dinner. Yeah. So, which I'm not complaining. It's very good. So, mm -hmm. but. Um, I usually get like a huge thing of sweet potatoes and maybe if I have a picture, I can post it, but that's like 11,000 won. Fruit here is super expensive too. Mm -hmm. Like, so if you're trying to make smoothies with like lots of fruit, you're going to pay a lot. Healthy foods are going to cost a lot. Um, also, if you're a picky eater and you just want like international food, type food you're yeah. gonna be spending a lot more on groceries even yeah. butter like there's random things here that are a lot like so there's expensive. that are just a lot more money like thunder mm -hmm. things like that dairy products usually in general are a bit more because yeah. i don't think there's there as many dairy farms here so you're gonna pay yeah. more for things that you might not expect or if mm -hmm. you're eating a certain way i'd look into it before you come here just yeah. to see the prices on those yeah. things it's this is how you don't save buy pizza but honestly guys this was 22,000 won that's not that bad okay no pizzas. to be fair it's cheap but stuff cross too <laughs> but yeah it's fine we're doing well we're doing well to be fair we didn't go out this weekend so it's okay yeah okay number one drinking mm -hmm. if you partake in soju and really like soju mm -hmm. 
fine you'll save money soju is so cheap here mm -hmm. whether you i mean it's cheaper at a like convenience store but yeah. even when you go out to dinner or you go to a bar and you get mm -hmm. soju you're still spending yeah. very very little money i think um, the see you it's under yeah. two us dollars so for it's nothing for like a bottle mm -hmm. essentially of vodka yeah so if you're fine with drinking soju good for you Golden. because you guys will be fine yeah we've learned the hard way that just soju just isn't for us. Mm -hmm. It's not the taste, it's just, you know. The hangovers are the, worse. The hangovers and are just like the worst and it's not yeah. worth it for us to save money mm -hmm. and feel like terrible the next day. Yeah. Like we would literally throw a whole day or two, yeah, two days being away so just being hungover. So that's there just not worth it. There are so they just don't work as, yeah, no, not no for way. the soju. <laughs> Um, so we had to spend a little bit, no, a lot more mm -hmm. drinking because we just won't, we just won't drink soju. So yeah. even if we just like get a bottle of like Absolute, it's a mm -hmm. lot more expensive here, I even think, than maybe America at a bar. I think it depends. In oh, wait, some no. restaurants or some bars, we've gotten a bottle of Absolute or Smirnoff for like 55 US dollars, which That's I don't true. think is that bad. Obviously, if we go out in like Gangnam and stuff like that, yeah. it's way more money. I think we spent almost like two hundred dollar, two hundred thousand won in a bottle of Patron. Yeah. and if like, we just get we spent cocktails a too, like that's mm -hmm. it's like fifteen thousand, twenty thousand won. Mm -hmm. So think about it like if you're at a home, drink. if you're going to your dive bar, you're gonna spend five dollars on a drink. That's obviously cheaper, but if you're gonna go to these nice like rooftop bars like you would at home in the states or in Europe wherever you are, you're obviously gonna spend more. Same obviously here in mm -hmm. Korea, and we tend to <sighs> travel to those places and go to those places that do charge a little bit extra. But you're it's paying worth it for, for the, the atmosphere. Mems. Yeah, for the mems. you're here one time, or maybe it's for multiple times. But why not? You know, romanticize your life, spend some extra money. Okay. Okay. Number two. Two. Shopping. Mm hmm. Uh, I think we both can agree that we do spend mm -hmm. more money on our clothes here. Yeah. Just because Korea is overall, like, they care about fashion. They mm -hmm. care about, like, looking good. I mm -hmm. want to say at all times. I mean, obviously, I think in where we live, yeah. it's not as a big deal because we're not rain sold. But I do mm -hmm. think in Seoul, um, most people care about their appearance. And you, then it... You want to look good too, yeah. then, because you don't want to look like yeah. a bum. Mm -hmm. I think everyone has different experiences with this. Mm -hmm. Like I know there has been like a lot of people have come here and they do feel pressured and they do get mm -hmm. a lot of influence from the beauty standards. I personally feel like I haven't felt pressured, but it just mm -hmm. it kind of motivates me more. I don't yeah. necessarily find it as a negative. But also, um, before I came here, I wanted to buy a whole new wardrobe. I was like, I want to dress like how they do I want to like adapt more of their style so I spent a lot on clothes but I also did not pack basically anything for summer mm -hmm. so a lot of money has went towards clothes but like if I would have probably just packed myself from the US probably Let's could have see. saved myself that okay number three attractions mm -hmm. I still don't think we've done a lot no. because of COVID though a lot of it is not I mean not a lot of it but part of it is because of COVID yeah and like weather and stuff like that yeah, so we want to do like the towers mm -hmm. that would cost some money. I feel money. like we haven't spent a lot on that though. Mm -mm. But that is just something to think about. Yeah. Like if you guys like, I really want to do the <laughs> sky tower, and Kyla's gonna love it. She always um, makes me go on high things. <laughs> I hate heights. <laughs> um, I really want to go to the top of the Lotte Tower and do mm -hmm. you can do you like put harnesses on and stuff like that. I can like post a little picture here so you guys know what I'm talking about. So like I want to do that. That's like a hundred dollars. But like obviously like if you want to go to like mm -hmm. amusement parks, if you want to go to like some museums are free, but some things we've been to a few art things where we've had to pay yeah. for. Nothing wild. But again, that depends like if you're interested in museums or you want to do like amusement parks like, and certain things weekend, like that. You're gonna spend more, yeah. yeah, you have to obviously budget that in. If you want to just do palaces and stuff like that, those are obviously free. But even like we've done a lot of boat rentals, which are so much fun. But that's obviously, I think, almost like 40,000 won mm -hmm. for a half hour. So those are things that you need to budget in. Four. <sighs> Cafes. Mm -hmm. We are both avid coffee drinkers so i feel like <laughs> cheers <laughs> um i feel like we both spend a lot of money just on coffee yeah. alone like i a cannot start my day without coffee mm -hmm. i will we will both get a headache mm -hmm. and my days are ruined yeah <laughs> basically i need at least two coffees a day yeah, to function minimum. and that's barely um and i think coffee i don't know i do feel like coffee is quite it can be pricey here mm -hmm, like for sure. especially if you go to a cutesy cafe like mm -hmm. you're gonna spend six dollars yeah 
six US dollars on a coffee. Yeah. It really depends on where you go. And obviously if you're going to like a cutesy mm. like Instagram cafe, That's they're gonna make your drink That's adorable looking too. too. Yeah. yeah. So like you're paying again for the atmosphere. Just like with bars, cafes, you're paying for the mm. atmosphere. But if you go to the CU. But it's also yeah, if you go to the CU you can get like mm. a can of coffee or a bottle of coffee for like two US dollars. Yeah. Mm. Five. Okay, so this is mostly for girls, but it can be for guys too, but you need to think, I think I didn't think about this either, coming here, I was excited like, oh my god, my nails are going to look so cute here, and our nails do always look really cute mm -hmm. here, but it's actually a lot more pricey yeah, than crazy. I think than in the States. Um, you can obviously find, like, it depends, like, what nail salon you go to. I've heard of, like, cheap ones. Like, Rachel goes to a really cheap one, but she does really great designs, mm -hmm. and ours is a bit more pricey because of the product she uses, so... It really depends on where you decide to go, but I think you need to think about like your nails, your hair. I've been using black dye because I'm cheap and I'm poor. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you need to think about your hair, think about your nails. A lot um, of people get facials here and mm -hmm. stuff like that. That's something that I want to get into, so I can always we can always do like a video about like skincare because I want to start doing facials too. But again, that's something that I need to budget in that you don't necessarily think about waxing getting your pedicures done if you want to get botox like we have a video i can link it we got botox our botox was way more expensive than the yeah, normal we realized, botox here yeah, we can talk about that yeah in the video, we but. we did realize like going into it that it was more expensive but i think for our first time we wanted to go to like, english speaking but now when we go back we can always go to like a cheaper mm -hmm. clinic because now we actually know what we want and what we want for our faces so to wrap it up i think we once again just want to say that we know a lot of things that we said we mm -hmm. spend money on that it's not a necessity mm -hmm. so you can we're not trying to discourage you from coming thinking you're not gonna make any money because mm -hmm. you very easily can mm -hmm. yeah i just think if we're being completely honest like i have not saved really anything since i've no. been here the only money that we're i've saved even from yeah we're basically just breaking even also like we have a big trip coming up to jeju which fingers crossed everything goes as planned but yeah we spent a lot of money a lot of money on, on an airbnb stuff like that um because obviously it's we got like a really really nice one we wanted to splurge on this so we it get, was a lot more and then i had to buy like i said i didn't pack any clothes i had to buy a whole new summer wardrobe so realistically mm -hmm. i probably could have saved anywhere from like I would say like 300 to 500 a month if I really wanted to. I know some people do send money through PayPal and that's what I plan on doing. I think there are a few apps. If you are living in Korea and you happen to be watching this video, if you guys want to mention anything that you guys do to send um, money, money back or anything that mm -hmm. you guys know of, even if you are in Korea that you've heard people use, um, I think I'm gonna use PayPal, but honestly until like summer's done i'm probably not gonna really worry about saving money because right now i want to like ex we want to kind of live life and while just, we can yeah like and we th i think we thought like it mm -hmm. while the weather is nice we might as well be doing what we want to do yeah because in this winter it's like more so cold more yeah it's so cold that there mm -hmm. will be more times in the winter that we'll stay in and it's like summertime so we're kind of well now we're not because of covid but yeah we were like trying to live it up mm -hmm. yeah so i think it really just depends on your lifestyle and how much you actually plan plan on spending and like what your goals are some people come to south korea and they know they're gonna be here for a year and they don't care about saving yeah it's I all for experience and like, yeah i think that's how we're living in the moment it's mm -hmm. like it's this is more of a mm -hmm. for the experience and for the yeah. memories kind of thing thank you guys for watching if you guys want to request any more videos drop them down below we're basically going to be on lockdown for the next two weeks so we'll try to get to them so like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.